Hi friends! Welcome to the third part of my Astrid cosplay video. This is unfortunately not the last part. Uh, the get ready with me and final cosplay bits and bobs are gonna be in the next video. I did not plan this to be a four-parter, but here we are. So enjoy the video! Papa had a snack and I now have a craft station. So I've got paint, metallic paint, clay, paint brushes, a pen, water, scissors, and cardboard because I'm going to now attempt to make Astrid's knives and her little skulls. I'm gonna use clay a lot in this project. I am going to try and make knives. Now I say knives, in my design sketch you have seen one knife. I just remember this brilliant scene from Race to the Edge where Astrid just wakes up and uh, all of a sudden and she's angry because someone woke her up and um, she just pulls out these two knives. There's two. And assumingly she has them either under her pillows or <laughs> on her belt. So I'm gonna make two just to honor that scene. Okay, let's do this. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Craft update, y'all. So, I did quite a little bit yesterday afternoon. And here are my clay creations. They should be all dry. Yes, the skulls are fully dry. I need three more skulls. Here are three of the skulls. And the knives are still not dry. Well, this one is dry. Okay, we have one dry knife. Great, yay. This is half dry, I suppose. Um, so yeah, the knives no longer need a support to dry. I'll take one of the skulls with me to make the other three. I have quite some updates. So first of all, I was watching Race to the Edge and how fortuitous, Astrid pulled out these same two knives and I discovered that the handles weren't actually brown as I remembered, but the silver. So I'm gonna paint these sides too. And um, yeah, that's that. And I got some rope cord to wrap around these edges and I'm gonna make like a ball point out of the Leftover clay. Right, knives have been painted, looking a whole lot better. Maybe more like this. Yeah, that's better. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do some weathering on this metal because I did see that Astrid's knives did have some wear and some darker parts. So I'm thinking to do that later when this is dried off. And after that, I'm gonna do like little ball points and I'm gonna attach them to the tops here with some either silicone or uh, E6000 glue, what have you. Oh, look what happened to my skull. He got a little stain. I don't know. I'm gonna have to paint over this in white tomorrow. Again, yay me. Uh, the daggers are ready. The this one is like slightly bigger than the other one. I'm not going back and fixing it. Screw it. And I've just had the idea that I might be able to make my Viking turtle brooches with clay. It is cutting corners very much so, but the thing is that I realized that I was going way, way, way over budget with the stuff on Etsy. So I'm trying to cut corners where I can. Um, and also because, I mean, 99% of the things that are supposed to be metal in this ensemble are going to be literally clay and cardboard So might as well add the brooches. I won't make those today because I do need to go and pick up some Wire my dad says he has some so I'll pick it up as soon as possible
So I, I beaded the first two strings. I think I want a third in between, only there's a problem that I think the bead strings are too long. So what I'm gonna have to do tomorrow, or maybe later, I don't know, is I'm gonna have to untwist the first sections of these couple strings and take off the first like 10 beads. Forgot I completely glossed over the turtle, the Turtle, tortoise turtle turtle brooches. This is how you tell that I need sleep. I made these out of clay um, using this little template that I drew up earlier over here, the circle. And I'm super proud of them, I've got to say. I uh, glued uh, with like really powerful E6000 glue. Um, I glued the pins in place and I've put clay over them. It hasn't fully hardened yet, so it's definitely gonna hold more when it hardens. In case it doesn't, I will get my glue gun, which is not here with me, but I will go get it. I will get my glue gun and I will finish the job or I also will get more E6000 and the glue gun. I will do whatever it takes. Uh, at least the cosplay parts of this project need to be finished in, um, today is the... Uh, in 10 days. I need to have this finished in 10 days, not counting the 17th because I do leave on the 17th. Wish me luck! It's the next day and I'm a very lazy cosplayer, so I just um, shimmied the strings until they fit. Uh, these are still drying. They're almost dry, um, so I'm going to turn them over and let them dry like this. turtle brooches I painted the turtle brooches and I also was not lazy and I shortened the bead strings because they were lying all funky oh my gosh it is a natter <laughs> why do I feel like crying <laughs> okay also her little nose like come on her nose it's so cute it's so cute it's a natter it's stormfly's face okay I'm gonna do the best I can because these are shaped differently also but yeah, I think we're gonna go inside because it is getting a little chilly, but I'm gonna trace it out with the pencil first. It's so cute. This is such a good shot of it. Wow, Stormfly's face. I'm gonna have Stormfly's face on my brooches, y'all. <laughs> Look at these little matters. I don't know, it looks more like a mouth than Stormfly, but like, I don't know, this one is giving Stormfly. I don't know why, for what reason, but this one kind of isn't. Um, I'm happy with them. I, I feel like there's something missing with these. I don't want to touch them for right now because I am pretty happy, but I don't know, there's just like, they're missing that, I don't know, je ne sais quoi. I have been watching Race to the Edge uh, while making this cosplay, so I am quoting Tough Nut. It took me a second to figure out which twin I was quoting. I dismembered uh, this bigger box is an old cardboard box from a scooter that I had when I was a kid. And this is an Amazon package box that we just got. I The package is not for me, but uh, the box is now. I, I claimed it, so it's my box. Um, and I 
dismember these. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I think two of these squares are gonna be my ax, the blade of my ax. I think this bigger square and this bigger square. And since this box has a peculiar shape, what I was thinking of is flatten it and do half circle, half circle, and then join them in the middle and reinforce that with some E6000 glue and then I don't know if I want to do clay over the cardboard because um, it, it was a bit tricky with the knives. So I'm going to Google how to get some wood texture in because in the first movie, the dragon riders, not yet dragon riders, but dragon fighters as were, uh, they're training and they have wooden shields and I really like Astrid's wooden shield. So I really want to try to replicate that. Um, so we're going to see how we do. We're going to see how we do. But for now, I'm going to draw the shapes and cut them out. And hopefully by the time I've done that, the knives are done. And before that, I can also do a little more of the skulls. Uh, for now, I'll, I, I won't record any of that because my camera's about to die. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the battery, well, the charger. I have my two axe pieces cut out, and this is my shield. So for my shield, what I'm gonna do is, uh, what I am doing is I am reinforcing it with duct tape, like this. Uh, this is also duct tape, but it had more of the same texture of this, uh, gray one it was and it was cheaper than the actual duct tape so I thought if I can save a couple euros why not um, and I think I'm gonna do the same reinforcing job with the axe which I'm then gonna paint silver I still need to get like a broom or mop stick to use but everything's going good so far everything's going great This is how we're doing. So I did like a second and third coat on the axe cardboard. So here's the other side of the axe, looking pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna go over this side again. I don't know, because it, but I'll wait until this one dries out completely. This is the shield. So basically, I don't know if I had updated you guys, but I had painted some of parts of it red, the red bits, I painted them red. But the thing is that, first of all, as you can see here, the red paint was more burgundy than red, and it also was way too sheer, so the pen marks were showing underneath. So now I painted uh, black. The bits where it's gonna be red, I painted them black, and I also painted uh, the surrounding turquoise bit black. This uh, tape is gonna come off when I'm gonna put the clay over here to simulate the metal. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and do the the red bits I want to show a part of cosplay that kind of I, I forgot that's not very related to this whole costume but like I want to show the relatable parts of it as well. Look at this floor. Look at it. Look what I've done. And because I'm not 14 anymore I gotta clean up after myself. I mean I did even when I was 14 but did I do it when I was 14? I don't remember doing it. I gotta do it now because I'm a responsible person and I can't leave stains of acrylic on the floor. So that's waiting for me tomorrow. Great. I hate cleaning, but I'm gonna have to do it because I can't leave this floor like this. So yeah, yay me. Should've put new, more newspaper down. But we've got another problem today, ladies and gentlemen. This, this, all the acrylic paint just chipped off. Well, not all of it, but most of it. 
So I decided that I'm going to do a um, paper mache-ish thing where I'm going to have Mod Podge here covered up with newspaper, hope do as many layers as I can, and then I'll let that dry and I'll start afresh with the acrylic. What do you got to do, you know? Oh my god. Okay, the shield has been paper mache and painted. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Uh, I have high hopes for this. Well, not high hopes, but maybe good feelings. I don't know. Um, it does have a couple like white spots, but those can be gone over with the acrylic. I realized that it was because maybe of the uh, tilting of the shield, but it's fine. Like it's a couple spots, and I'm probably gonna paint over them with not probably definitely gonna paint over them with the other colors. So now I have my. My red, my black, my blue, and my green, and my white. But, um, I, I, I have no idea how I just did that. I just, um, maybe it was the fact that I didn't turn the camera on for any of this, but look at those clean lines. So yeah, I'm gonna proceed with the, either the white or the blue now and try not to screw this up. An extraordinary find. <laughs> this was the base of the axe that I made when I was 14 years old. This has been in storage for four years. Wow. As you can see, I painted this thing black and um, I glued rope on it. And I mean, as you can see, the end piece is, I mean, absolutely disgusting and grimy so that needs replaced but also the length of the axe is um it's too much so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this i don't know if i want to keep the top or the bottom piece i can't remember which piece astrid's axe has because i decided that i'm not going for the race to the edge design after all i'm going for the how to train a dragon 2 design of the axe i mean i know definitely that this is going <laughs> So now I'm gonna go get more clay, but the blades It looks perfect cuz yeah, I mean this needs clean This definitely needs cleaned. It's I mean it's disgusting cleaned and probably repainted cuz this is just gray It's not um, metallic uh, th This th this is getting the chop. This is absolutely Grimy and muddy and disgusting and I don't want to touch it. I'm pretty sure that's like pigeon poop not touching that. Okay, so these are little rivets that I'm gonna put on the axe. I also worked on like the relief, like not relief, I don't know, uh, 3D part of the axe. I also made the skull 
and I painted the top part. That clay part was uh, on the original axe thing. Um, so yeah, I'm almost done for tonight. I'm gonna paint the little initials because let me show you. So um, Astrid, uh, Astrid's axe and race to the edge has her initials on it and I thought that was such a cool detail. So I'm gonna integrate that in my axe. I'm gonna see if the skull is dry and I'm gonna paint it. So yeah, that's a great idea. And then I wanted to see what I could do about um, the decorations on the axe blade. I'll show you those as well. She's got these um, blue and red uh, things wrapped. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to paint it red and light blue. And, uh, well, lengths lengths of it and uh i will paint it red and blue and then i will wrap it next time and then i think i'm gonna add some more cord just unpainted around there around the top fireworks people having fun definitely not me I am at the part of this cosplay where I'm sure a lot of cosplayers can relate to this excuse my language it just all goes to <laughs> that's what's happening here so let me give you an update on the cosplay part of this whole amazing endeavor look at the destruction start with a slightly good news I've made little rivets and these seem to be sticking where's wood I need to knock on wood knocked um so uh yeah uh, the cardboard was way too floppy for the axe so i had to go in and put in more cardboard reinforcement and this is the situation that it's going to live in for the night unfortunately we lost uh some of the clay relief details uh, they wouldn't stick they wouldn't glue as you might have noticed the clay part just yeeted itself off of the sh shield which was absolutely lovely to witness after I've worked so much on it so now I have cut I I'm gonna cut this circle out of cardboard and paint it silver and glue it on this thing I am on my last leg with the silver paint I really am so I think I'm gonna add a few drops of white and black and just shake it and see what I can make of it um what else what else got wrecked <laughs> Uh, I showed you those that got wrecked. The other supports, reliefs, whatever you want to call them, are um, below the axe. The paint on the axe is chipping severely. Um, I am really not in No! Did the paint on this thing just- <gasps> It did- Oh no, that's glue. Oh god. So yeah, um, painting jobs are in uh, dire need of happening. I need to tidy all of this up and I mean on another plus side the ropes were painted nicely so um, th the red one dried fully I'm gonna wait for this one to dry as well um, it's just really messy and I'm really scared oh and did I mention did I mention did I mention that I leave um, in about 48 hours <laughs> so the priority for now is the cosplay stuff because this is the stuff that I can only do when I'm here. Meanwhile, the sewing stuff, which I'm almost done with, I literally have one row of embroidery left. I, I can do on the road. Um, this I can't do on the road. And this has to be ready for the road tomorrow. I have to have this packed. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bummed because I thought that everything was perfect and it really wasn't. It was really just a mess. The shield, so I've got the glue working on the sides because the only place I kind of really needed reinforcement was this, was this bit because the rest, it's not going to take strain. Um, and this is the circle. I glued on some little clay rivets that I made. I'm really happy with these. They're kind of like all around the shield. Uh, they do give a nice bit of texture, I must say. This, I'm not too, too happy about this. I much preferred the clay one, but it was too heavy. I still haven't attached the cords, 
but the good news is that the axe now it's reinforced so it can stand up and you know not flop the clay parts on the back have survived so I'm not gonna take them out although they do need some repainting it's fine you know it's uh, the back and I also need to do some painting fixes over here and then I need to wrap the colorful uh, okay I need to wrap this cord at the bottom of the skull right there um, and then I need to wrap the colorful cords on the blade but before that I need to paint the cardboard and paint the back as well and then I need to glue the rivets on and then wrap the colorful cord and then hopefully I'm done oh my god and I can work on my embroidery which I bought silk thread for so this hopefully is one of my last cosplay updates I'm gonna go have some pancakes now because I think I deserve them Oh my gosh, I'm done. So, Axe, look at her. That's, um, that white is gonna be dried soon. I just wanted it to keep the cord in place. So this is the Axe. We got shield. Belt. I did the corset belt lacing and skulls I'm so happy with this okay all of this is gonna be packed now plus I'm gonna bring some emergency glue fortunately this video ends here but I will see you very very soon I promise I cannot wait for you to see the reveal I've been working so hard at the editing and everything I am really excited for you to see it see you in my next shenanigan bye